I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Friday, February the 6th, 2015. The controversy over Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's scheduled address to a joint session of Congress took something of a surprising turn today in Israel. While no one disputes that Congress has the constitutional right to invite anyone it wishes, the White House and a growing number of Democrats see the invitation as a partisan move by Republican House Speaker John Boehner to embarrass the president by inviting Netanyahu to offer his views on the Iranian nuclear threat in the midst of the administration's efforts to reach a diplomatic solution with Iran before the next deadline in July. The controversy has also been framed as if the Israeli prime minister is prepared to disrespect the president of the United States by accepting the Republican speaker's invitation. Today, however, Israeli Deputy Foreign Minister Tzachi Hanegbi suggested that Netanyahu may have been misled. Reuters reports that Hanegbi told an Israeli radio station today that the invitation by Speaker Boehner was originally described to the prime minister as bipartisan. Hanegbi said it appears that the Speaker of Congress made a move in which we trusted, but which it ultimately became clear was a one-sided move and not a move by both sides. Hanegbi also noted that Netanyahu has been making a, quote, huge effort to make it clear to Democrats that Netanyahu's address to Congress was not, quote, a move that flouts the president. When asked whether the prime minister should cancel or postpone the speech, Hanegbi did not respond directly, saying what would the outcome be then? The outcome would be that we forsake an arena in which there is going to be a very dramatic decision on Iran. Meanwhile, two U.S. Democrats said yesterday that they would not be attending Netanyahu's speech. Representative John Lewis, who is a hero of the civil rights movement, and Representative G.K. Butterfield, who is chairman of the Congressional Black Caucus, said they would be absent from the March 3rd speech, both saying their decision was a personal one. Lewis called Boehner's invite to Netanyahu an affront to President Barack Obama. House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi said yesterday that, quote, as of now, it is my intention to go, adding that she still hoped the speech would not take place. The United Nations has named a new special coordinator for the Middle East peace process. Bulgaria's Nikolai Mladenov will replace outgoing Mideast envoy Robert Seri. Mladenov currently serves as the UN Special Representative to Iraq and previously served as Bulgaria's Foreign Minister and Minister of Defense. Seri served as Mideast envoy for six years and at times his relationship with Israel was reported as rocky. Mladenov said in an interview with the Jerusalem Post a few years ago that many European countries aren't sensitive to the challenging environment in which Israel lives. He said, we often say that we recognize Israel's legitimate security concerns, but I sometimes wonder if we all know what stands behind these words. Uruguay has expelled a senior Iranian diplomat suspected of being involved with a bomb placed outside the Israeli embassy in Montevideo a few weeks ago. This according to Haaretz. The device was discovered on January the 8th. It partially detonated and was then neutralized by police and no one was injured. Uruguay intelligence later linked the incident to an official in the Iranian embassy and had him expelled. Prosecutors in Germany are investigating a woman suspected of being a Nazi guard at two concentration camps during the Holocaust. Hilda Michnia, who is now 93, is suspected to have served as a guard at the Bergen-Belsen and Gross-Rosen concentration camps and is also suspected of being involved in evacuating Gross-Rosen near the end of World War II and forcing prisoners to march to the Gubin labor camp, a march during which about 1,400 women died. Michnia was previously convicted in a trial involving SS guards in 1945 and sentenced to a year in prison. The current investigation against her began last week following the testimony of a Holocaust survivor. Michnia, meanwhile, claims that she worked in the kitchens of the camps and was never involved in any atrocities. 
Turkey canceled its participation in an international security conference in Munich this weekend because Israel was represented there. This according to the Anadolu News Agency, which reported today that Turkish Foreign Minister Mevlut Kavasoglu told reporters in Berlin that he had withdrawn from the event after learning that Israeli representatives would also be present. The Munich Security Conference is an annual event that is attended by some of the world's top policymakers in foreign and defense policy. The Jerusalem Post reports that Israel's intelligence minister Yuval Steinitz reacted to the Turkish decision, saying that Israel was astonished by it and that Israel would attend every important international conference, quote, whether Turkey likes it or not. And turning now to our programming for tonight, Friday, February the 6th, Live Shabbat services are coming up at 6 o'clock from New York City's Central Synagogue, followed at 7.30 with a concert from the Hazamir Choir. That's the JBS News Update for Friday, February the 6th, 2015. I'm Tisha Bader. Shabbat Shalom.